Let's have a quick look at the lighting accessory um, tool in Vectorworks. Um, so one of the most common accessories you're likely to want to use is probably the iris. So um, we haven't got one in our drawing yet, so I'm just going to use the search box to find an iris. And in my search you'll find two irises. One of them is actually the old one from my lantern library. I'm going to import the um, the one from the Vectorworks default libraries um, because the tool has actually changed. And I'm not sure if my old one would um, still function correctly. You could make a separate subfolder for your accessories. Um, I don't think there's any need. Our drawing isn't complex enough to warrant that. So I'm just going to import it into our lighting fixtures. And there it is. Now if you double click an accessory, it activates the lighting accessory tool, which is different from the lighting device tool. Um, Vectorworks understands that a lighting accessory needs to be associated with a particular lighting device, so the tool works slightly differently. It used to work more similarly to the lighting device tool in that you would click somewhere to place the accessory, uh, rotate it, and then um, associate it with the lighting device, whereas now what you do is you use this target cursor to associate it with the lighting device first, and Vectorworks automatically places it. You can then just leave the lighting device, uh, lighting accessory tool, and um, there is our iris associated with unit 81. Um, really simple. It By default it draws it at the front of the lantern, um, which for scrollers is great. For an iris, um, I'm not sure if that's the ideal place, but you know, there's nothing wrong with it there. Um, and that's how you use the lighting accessory insertion tool. So um, if you now go into, uh, let's just put one over here actually. If you now uh, create a new instrument summary, by default it will have another section here for static accessories and list your irises. And again, you get uh, an inventory count for that as well. So you can count how many you've got, how many you've used, etc. So it's it's um, nicely separate, but associated with the lantern. Um, so if you were to move the lantern, the accessory moves with it. If you want to change where the accessory is displayed, um, you can do that. Um, what you have to do is uh, select your lantern that has the accessory associated with it and press edit accessories. You get into a sort of edit screen and in here we can just grab the accessory and drag it. Let's say I want it displayed there and not on the front of the lantern and then exit the edit and then the accessory is placed to where you want it. So you do have the, the ability to move it to where you want um, I suppose you could leave it at the front or you can move it somewhere else. It's, you know, whatever works best for your drawing, for your display, and um, I guess gets the information across as clearly as possible. 